Welcome to Pioneer Standard Electronics Component Facility located at 2385 Edison Boulevard in Twinsburg, Ohio. The facility consists of 106,000 square feet of space. It was constructed in 1990 as a fully automated distribution facility. The space is heated and air conditioned to ensure sensitive product environments are maintained. The building has both fire detection and fire suppression systems. The building also has an active security system that consists of video cameras and restricted access utilizing individual hand scan technology. Ceiling height is 30 feet to accommodate vertical storage requirements. Let's look at the areas that make up the facility. Receiving and shipping dock. Receiving stations. Carousel area. Consolidation carousel. Packing stations. Manifesting area, bulk processing, bulk pallet racking, high bay shelving, and shelving storage. Now let's look at the facility and the flow of product. The facility is set up to flow product from the point of receiving through shipping. The system assigns incoming product a location at receiving and tracks the product through its life cycle in the building. A barcoded identification number is given each receipt which then moves to the assigned stocking location. When orders arrive from the host, the system recognizes where the product is located and signs the workload to the appropriate workstation for processing. The dock consists of 4,100 square feet. There are seven dock doors in the facility. Five are trailer height doors with dock levelers and safety locks, two of which are fluid load doors providing delivery of product from the production area. A trash conveyor passes through the dock from the receiving area to the compactor to remove waste created from the receiving process. Two doors are used for van height vehicles. The receiving area consists of 10 workstations. Each station is set up to receive product using purchase orders that are interfaced into the system. The system is capable of reading code 39 and 128. It can also accommodate 2D barcodes with appropriate scanning hardware. Bulk receiving is handled in a similar manner except product is staged for movement to stocking location by a lift truck. Receiving for static shelving is placed on a cart instead of a conveyor and stocked using a RDT. When product is received it is assigned a barcode number which is scanned into the system. A tote is retrieved from the overhead tote line and its number is scanned into the system. This acts as a carrier for the product. The tote with the product inside is placed on the conveyor and it moves to one of 14 carousel workstations for stocking. As product arrives from the receiving, it travels via the induction conveyor to the carousels. The facility's carousels are the primary pick locations. They are a significant majority of the over 90,000 stocking locations in the building. There are two areas of carousel storage. The first area consists of 20 carousels comprising workstations 1 through 10. These were installed in 1990. The second area comprised workstations 11 through 14. These were installed in 1998. As product is received, it is automatically routed to the correct carousel for stocking. Inbound product is queued in front of each carousel. Up to eight totes can be staged at each carousel for stocking, and the new carousels can have up to 12 totes in queue. 
overflow stocking circulates within the carousel system until the queue is opened up. The operator then removes the product from the tote and stocks it into the location assigned by the system which is shown on the workstation terminal. The empty tote is returned to the overhead tote line. When an order generates a pick on the carousel, the process is reversed. The operator's terminal displays part number, location, and the quantity to pick. The carousel automatically spins to the proper bay, and the operator moves the lift table to the correct location. The product is removed from the carousel's bin box, verified, and counted out. The pick is packaged at the workstation, and a pick barcode number is placed on the package. The product barcode and the tote barcode are scanned into the system which ties the product to the tote for tracking within the facility. When a wave of totes is complete the carousel operator moves to the top conveyor and pushes the totes onto the outbound conveyor with the packages of product inside. All orders are sent to the central distribution sorter to be diverted to the next processing point. Totes can be sent directly to packing if there are no additional picks. Totes can also be sent to the insert or extractor device for consolidation of multi-tote orders. The IE became operational in 1998 to consolidate orders that require more than one tote. Upon arrival at the IE, they are inserted into a location which is tracked by the system. When the order is complete and all totes have been delivered to the IE, the system signals to extract the totes for a specific order. The totes for an order are pulled in succession until the order is complete. The order pool criteria is flexible and can be set up for different order types. Totes arrive in the QC pack area from either the carousel storage or the IE device. This area consists of 20 pack stations, 3 lanes per station with the capacity to accumulate 30 totes per station. This area was brought online in 2000. The system reads the barcodes off the totes that are inducted into the QC pack conveyor system. It reads the barcode and determines the order type within the tote. If there are special handling requirements such as air orders, exports, or multi-tote orders, these orders are diverted into a user-defined area. Lights above the lane indicate to the operator if the order is in process or complete. When the order is complete, the operator pulls the tote and scans the barcode from the product package. The system will notify the operator if the order is complete. Once all the product is scanned into the system, it will automatically generate the shipping label and print the order's packing slip. The packer assigns a carton barcode to the shipping carton and scans it into the system. Shipping labels have the carrier's tracking number assigned dynamically by the carrier and the system ties it to that carton. The operator pulls the carton and packs the order using environmentally friendly dunnage.
the completed order is placed on the shipping belt destined for the inline scale. The completed order moves along the shipping belt to the scanner and scale. The scanner sends the carton barcode number to the system. The carton then moves to the inline scale and is weighed. The weight is transmitted to the system and the information sent to the carrier server. The carrier activates the tracking number and assigns charges to the package, which gets transmitted back to the system. The system can also accommodate multi-rate tables using manual tracking numbers, which automatically assign charges to the order. At this point, the package is shipped in the warehouse management system and is sent to the appropriate carrier shipping lane and travels via a conveyor to the dock. Ship product arrives from manifesting via conveyor systems and from the bulk area on pallets. Trailers are staged for loading. Product arriving via conveyor is fluid loaded, which provides ample accumulation of shipments. Carriers are scheduled to pick up loaded trailers and stage empties for the next day's water processing. Bulk product is stored in pallet quantities on racking. The process is directed by the system through the use of RF terminals. The operator can initiate work or it can be directed by the system. The product is assigned a container barcode number or CBN to facilitate moving the product to the proper location. The system uses the number and assigns it to the location. The operator stocking the product scans the CBN and the system directs the operator to the proper location to stock the product in. Picking is the reverse of stocking. The pick consists of scanning the IBN and location barcode. The pick is made for the correct quantity. The product is on the truck work queue and delivered to the bulk processing station. The facility utilizes two types of shelving the high bay for self-contained packaged product and standard shelving for brake packaged product. The high bay shelving is 21 feet high and the standard shelving is 7 feet high. High bay shelving is serviced by a wire guided narrow aisle order picker lift truck.